Today's daily dose of math is about which end is which, meaning which end of the equation is which. When you're working with an equation and doing algebra, what belongs on the left side, what belongs on the right side? First thing I'm going to do is introduce my beautiful assistant, Mocha. She's a cute little dog here, I'll show you. Come here, come here. That's right. Oh. Oh, she's really sweet. She's nice. I like her, but she needs a grooming because right now it's hard to really see the dog. And in fact, she has bad breath today. Oh, oh, that's why. Okay. I was holding the wrong end of the dog up. Okay. Say hi to the camera, Mocha. Uh, can never get a dog to look at a camera. Okay. Down you go. Oh, you're heavy for a tiny little thing. Okay, so which end is which? When you mix up the ends of your equation, does it cause any damage? Okay, she's making too much noise. Oh, oh, that's right, you're banished. Okay, she really needs to go to the groomer. That's the problem I have with her. There should be an app for that, a dog grooming app. You should just poke at your phone and the dog groom. You know, let's face it, it's modern times. Anyway, when we have this equation, for instance, and we're doing algebra to it, we have 12 equals x plus 3. The x is on the right side of the equals, but I don't care. I can do my algebra. I know that if I subtract 3 from both sides, these 3's will cancel. And that isolates my x on one side of the equal sign. And since 12 minus 3 is 9, I have 9 equals x as my answer. But wait, 9 equals x sounds backwards. We're used to seeing x equals 9, that makes sense. But does it matter? Well, it doesn't matter, and I can use algebra to show why it doesn't matter. Because I can move the x to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract an x from both sides. Algebra allows me to do that. These cancel. But x minus x, it just doesn't disappear. x minus x is 0. So I have 9 minus x equals 0. Now I can subtract a 9 from both sides of the equation. And these 9s cancel. I have negative x equals negative 9. I'm almost finished. I don't want to know what negative x is equal to. I want to know what x is equal to. So my x is being multiplied by a negative 1. I can divide both sides by a negative 1. These negatives cancel. The x is still there, and it's equal to negative 9 divided by negative 1, which is positive 9. So that means that 9 equals x means the same thing as x equals 9. And of course, there's a shortcut for this, which is you can just turn any equation backwards if you want. I can see 9 equals x, and I can say, oh, that means I can write x equals 9. So in algebra, it turns out it doesn't matter which end is which. And that's very convenient because we don't have to worry about whether a variable is on the left side or the right side when we begin. We get to an answer and we understand the answer. We have the right answer without having to worry about changing sides. But if we want to change sides, we can. And speaking of which end is which, yes, it turns out there is an app. And I use the app to groom the dog. And look at that. There's no way of mixing up the ends of this dog anymore. Thank you, beautiful assistant Mocha. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.